Now let's go over diagonal difference. So given a square matrix, so if you don't know what matrix is, just think of as an array of arrays. You have an array and you have arrays inside an array. Calculate the absolute difference between the sum of its diagonals. So important absolute difference between the sum of its diagonals. Sum of diagonals. Okay. For example, the square matrix array is shown below. So we have our matrix. Think of this as an array, another array, and another array. And this whole thing is inside an array. So if you were to just write that, it would be something like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 9, 8, 9. So we have three arrays, right? So this will be inside another array. That's pretty much what matrix is. The left to right diagonal is 1 plus 5 plus 9, 15. So if you can see that, it's this one right here. So it goes from left to right and right to left is 3, 5, and 9. So we know that left to right sum is 15, right to left is 17. And we want to find the absolute difference. So it will be 15 minus 17. And this is an absolute sign if you don't know that. And that's going to be negative 2, right? But you have to know that absolute values make all values positive so we are going to get two and obviously this is the same if we have 17 minus 15 which is absolute value of two which also returns to the order of uh, diagonal sum does, doesn't matter regardless we are always going to get that same positive number so function description complete the diagonal difference function in the editor below so this is going to be our function name and diagonal difference takes the following parameter it takes an int and which is an array of arrays and it's going to be composed of numbers. We want to return the absolute diagonal difference. Okay, this is what we want. In proof format, the first line contains a single integer and the number of rows and columns in the square matrix array. Each of the lines describes a row, array at index i, and consists of n space separated integers of array at i. So this sounds confusing, but what this saying is that m represents the number of rows and columns each of the next n lines to describe a row so array at i represents a row if you remember if you go back up top here array at i is going to represent each single array so first one second one and third one and if we were to just make it simple to read it would be one two three and this is what we did before over here next is four five six next is nine eight Nine. So array at i again represents row. So first one will be this one, second this one, third this one. Remember, this is also inside an array. And consists of n separated integers at array i at index j. That would represent like these numbers. So i again will represent arrays and j will represent the numbers inside the array. It's just saying that we have matrix that's it and this is our constraint so our format return the absolute difference between the sums of the matrices two diagonals and the single integer it's pretty much repeating what it said before and this is an under the sample input it, this is just saying that we have three rows now what we want is we want to sum the left to right and then right to left so l r so left to right will be 11 11 plus 5 minus 12 which is Four. right to left will be 4 plus 5 plus 10 so that's 19 so what's the absolute def difference so 19 minus 4 which is 15 so that's going to be our answer and again 4 minus 19 that's going to be negative 15 oh absolute value the definition is that the values inside the absolute value sign is always going to be positive now that's what means to have a diagonal difference. And now let's get to our solution. If you guys find this helpful, make sure you guys like and subscribe. Thanks. Let's go over our first solution. But before that, I did write a pseudocode. And for this one, we are going to use a for loop to make this solution. But I wrote the steps over here, starting with number one through the whole thing. 
So create a function that takes a parameter and that's going to take an array as a parameter, which is our input original array. And we have our matrix over here, the first row, second, third, and this is array of arrays with integers in them. Next one is to create two variables that's going to represent left to right diagonal sum and then the right to left diagonal sum. And we are going to set that equal to zero. We're going to iterate through an array and let's just make two variables, one that's going to represent left to right movement and then another one to re represent right to left movement. And simply we are just going to add that value to our respective sum. And finally just return the absolute diagonal difference. Now let's get to our code. So first step is done. I created my function already. So let's now declare two variables and let I'll name it left sum and set this equal to zero and then another one right sum set this equal to zero and I'm going to use a for loop for this solution so for let i uh, is equal to zero I want to iterate through all the elements in my array array dot thing and increment by one each time should be lowercase i okay that looks good and now I want to declare two variables one that's going to represent left to right movement and another one that's going to be right to left now let's name it left and remember this is an array of arrays so in order for us to represent what the first element of this is what we have to do is array at index i for the first iteration array at index i is going to represent this array but now we need to be able to access the value first value inside that array so what we're going to do is also at index i so this way when our i increases our value is going to increase also so first iteration is going to be index 0 array at index 0 and this is going to be the first index and array at i which is going to be 0 is also going to represent that 11 as our first number and as our i increases it's going to refer to the second array and this second i is going to refer to that number five and then when it's two it's going to represent this array this i which is going to be also two is going to represent this number so as our i increases this left is going to go right by one each time. Now we need our right variable and this one is a little bit more confusing to make. Well we know that we want to start at array at i but we want to refer to the last element and each time we loop through our array we want to go to the left. So let's take care of the first part first. So that's going to be being able to access first, second, and third array. And that's obviously going to be the same as our array at index i. But more importantly, how do we access the last element in this array? Well, think about it. How do we usually access the last element in our array? Well, to do that, we usually do array dot length. If it was the case that we were looking at this one, this would have length of three, and we want index of two. So what we do is minus one. Well, if we were to just do this our right variable would go down the array but it's always going to look at the last element only we don't want that we want this to go to left by one each time what we can do is actually really easy we just subtract i so if this doesn't make sense to you well i hope this first part makes sense because we are always accessing the last element in the array. Well, think about what i does. Well, as we loop through, i increases, right? So let's say it's our first iteration, i is zero. Well, if you do minus zero, that's exactly same as where we got length minus one, which is at index two. Well, what if our index increased to one? So that's going to be two minus one, which is index one which is a number five in the second array. So that's exactly what we want, right? And then when this becomes two, well, our length is two. If we do two minus two, this is going to be zero. And that way we will be able to access this number 10. So this one goes left to right, and this one goes right to left. Now, finally, what we want is we want to add these numbers to our respective sum. So what we want to do is left sum plus equals left and right sum plus equals right. Finally, we want to return 
the absolute difference between the two. What we can do is we can just use math.abs and this is what absolute value is. A numeric expression which absolute value is needed. That's what we exactly need. For example, absolute value of negative 5 is the same as value of 5. Okay, so it looks good. So what we do is left sum minus right sum. And if you were to console log that, you can see that our result is 15. And this is the same example that we use in our first part of the video. So 11, 5 of negative 12, that's going to be negative 4. And 4, 5, 10, that's going to be 19. So if you were to make an absolute value, that will be 19 minus 4, that will result in 15. So this is the solution and it corresponds to with our solution that we got. So it looks good. Now let's go over our second solution. The steps for this solution is exactly the same as our first solution. But let's just try using for each. Let's try using a different method. But the code itself is actually going to look pretty similar to our first one. It's just that we are using for each. And I think this will be really helpful if you don't know higher order methods like for each and it should be a good practice if you know what for each is you can just skip this one because this is going to be exactly the same so same as before i'm going to make a variable name it left sum and set this equal to zero and then let right sum set this equal to zero so that looks good and now i want to use for each which works exactly like for loop to iterate through my array so i'm going to iterate through my input array and then I'm going to use for each and we are going to pass two things first one is current value and next one is i so current value refers to each item in our input array and i is the index so first item will refer to this one second one this third current value will be this and index is just an index next I want to declare Two variables const and let's name it left like before and this is going to be current value at index i at index i this looks pretty much exactly the same as our first solution right but there is actually a mistake i hope you caught that well current value is an array so it refers to this one in the first iteration this one in the second this one in the third so it doesn't make sense for us to have current value at index i of i. This is wrong. So this is not valid because current value is an array itself. Now what we need is the right side, right to left. Let's name it this right. And as same as before, we want current value at array dot length minus one minus i. So exactly the same code and we want to add current number to our respective sums. That's going to be left sum plus equal left and then right sum plus equals right. Same as before we want to do math dot absolute value and let this time let's just do right sum minus left sum. We should get the same exact result and made a misspelling here. Okay, we got our result, which is 15, which is same as our example. So code itself is exactly the same. I just wanted to illustrate this solution using for each. And just the important thing for for each is that this current value, I named it current value and it might be actually confusing because when you think of values is numbers like 11, 12, and 4. But current value actually refers to again this array these three arrays because it's running for each on this outer array as you can see here we have an array sign over here right which is definition of matrix and current value refers to that inner array and we access the values using the index for our left and we do same as before array length minus one minus i to decrement by one each time so this is it for our second solution i hope that was easy and stay tuned for more solutions later